<coughs> hey guys, good evening. People only. Good evening. Hi, Christopher. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, it it's been a good day today, so I'm fine. Yes. What about you? How are you? Uh, very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. How was your day? A little tired, but it's good. All right. A little tiring, but it's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you for for being here, Christopher. It's a pleasure to see you or to have you here again. Yes. Antonio, Lucy, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello. hello. How are you guys? I'm okay, teacher. You're okay? All right, all right. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, it was a little hard. But I'm here. I'm ready okay. for the class. All right, it was a little hard, but you are here. That's good, that's good. What about you, Lucy? How was your day? A little tired, but good. All right, a little tired. You are tired, <laughs> excuse me. You are tired or, or the day was tiring? Both. Both. <laughs> all right, all right, yes. I don't know, but it's, it's Tuesday today. I'm a little tired too, yes. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I'm going to work in a different company, so uh, it's going to be more difficult for me. I'm going to work more hours, but I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gabriel, hello. Holman, hi guys. Yeah, it is not. It's not available today. Holman is here. Holman's oh, not here. Okay. My, my, my. Okay. More people are joining. Thank you guys for joining. Holman, how are you, Holman? Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Um, I am. I am a little bit tired and I'm fine. All right. All right. A little, a little bit tired, but fine. Excellent. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, all right. Hello, Fatima. Welcome. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. How are you, Fatima? Fine. A little tired, too. Okay. So everybody is tired today. <laughs> okay. That's not good. That's not good. We need to sleep. Okay. <laughs> but we're not going to sleep. We have to be here until 11 p.m. No, no, ten. All right, okay. Uh, for real, for some reason, just six people are, are here only. See, just the six of you are here. I don't really know what is happening with the other ones. I know there are some people in the in the book that they are saying that they won't be available available today. So, but that's that's okay. That's okay. Well, I'm going to take attendance just with you guys. <laughs> all right let me do it just one two three six people all right that's gonna be it. that's gonna be it all right let me just have this ready hold on okay tuesday all right adriana turcios is not here yet she said that she was still at work. Although my computer is very slow again. I don't understand why. Carlos Elivaldo, Abrego Marmol. No. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Christopher Espitia. Chipagua. Present teacher. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Gabriel Beltran Perez. 
Oh, Gabriel is there. Hector Francisco Morales. Hello. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, Ivan Petrovich Guzman. No, he's not here. Holman Saul Hiron. Present. Yes. Hello. Thank you for being here. All right. Laura Jasmine Portillo. No, Laura not here yet. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes, Lucy is here. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Not here yet. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Yes, I see you, Nelson. I see you. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Not here yet. Oscar Armando Romero. Okay. Okay, okay. Roberto Carlos Hernandez Cruz. And uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, we are here. Okay. okay let me just update it real quick. Pamela, right? Pamela or Laura? <laughs> yes, there, Pamela. Right? Okay, Pamela. <laughs> Hello, hello, and uh, Magdaleno. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, yes, excellent. All right, guys, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure, a real pleasure to be here once again. We are going to continue with uh, yesterday's topic. Okay, yes. Uh, although we're going to we're going to wait for the activity. We're going to do the activity later on. Okay, right now we're going to continue with today's class, all right? Let's go over here. Let me show you what we are going to be discussing. All right, okay, this is class number eight, okay? Class number eight. Well, let's just start with this question, people. What do you remember about product testing? What do you remember about product testing? Tell me, what do you remember? What do you guys remember? Hello, tell me, what do you remember? Here is a strategy. Okay, all right. For, for know um, about a product. Okay, it's a strategy to know about a product. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Anybody else? What is product testing? What do you remember about product testing? A uh, product testing teacher is, uh, I remember uh, things like um, um, a, a service and, and a test for the, um, when you are handling the product, mm -hmm. handling the product and the, the side of the product, thing like that. Okay, all right, all right. Yes, yes, excellent, excellent, very good, thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? What do you remember about yesterday's topic or product testing? Product testing. Are uh, uh, steps to follow for for check the product a new product mm -hmm. is necessary for a new product. Okay, okay, okay. Very good to check a product to evaluate a product. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, <clears throat> is there anybody else that would like to give an opinion about this? Teacher, yes. I think our procedures before before to create a I don't know a new product. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good. 
Thank you, thank you, Antonio, for your participation. Anybody else? Teacher, oh, hi. Is, hi. it's like the, hello? Yes. Uh, uh, protesting is when you um, prove if a, um, if a product is useful or or functionally. Okay, all right, all right. It's to measure to measure the function or to see the function of a product, right? Yes, that's why uh, testing exists. You know. All right, very good, very good. Thank you for that. Now we're going to move to another stage here or to another part. It's this one, brainstorming activity. Let's brainstorm this thing over here or this expression that you see over here. It says, determine the best strategies to apply to conduct a new, sorry, a product test. Guys, what are the best strategies or what are some strategies that you can mention for product testing? Yes, let's brainstorm the ideas. Let me, let me just do something here. Let's brainstorm the ideas here. Guys, you can start. I'm listening. Too many, right? Okay. People? The best the quality. Sorry? The quality. Yeah, but what, what, what is the strategy? The quality of the product. Okay, the quality. Okay, the quality of the product. Yes. Okay, okay. What else, people? What else? What else? The quality of the of the product. Yes. What else can you mention? Hello. Anybody? Uh, teacher, the advertising. Uh, advertising. Okay, the advertising. In social networks. On social. Okay, advertising on, on social media. Okay. All right, all right. Anybody else? In, introduce the the product um, to customers. Introduce the product to customers. Okay. Okay. Introduce the product to customers. Okay. People continue. Did you have one? about experience of client come again please no no about experience of clients there you go know about the the, the cost, consumers experience okay all right all right people what else Hello, what else can you mention? Define your testing metrics. Define your testing metrics. What do you mean when you say metrics? Uh, the um, type of KPIs or what is the result you want to, to know how to be the product, it's good or bad for the people who, who are I've testing. Never I've never used the word metric. I've never used the word before. Is it like that? Uh, uh, let me metrics. Yes, metrics like metricas. I don't know. I don't know the word metrics. 
Okay. Are there res are there results of something like a performance? Okay, the result of something. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right, what else, people? Hello. No more, no more, no more. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's fine, that's fine. All right, we can we can have many, many strategies, okay? Many, many strategies when we want to conduct a product test, okay? We have mentioned a few of them over here, yes? That doesn't mean we don't have more. Of course, we have more, okay? We have more strategies, okay, when we want to conduct a product test, yes. All right, let me stop here and let's continue. We're gonna go to the book. Okay, here. Let's continue. Open your books on page number. Let me see. Page number. This thing is. Right, here we go. Okay, if you open it, go to page number 18. On page number 18, you're going to find a very interesting article. <laughs> yes. No, something very interesting. Do you see the book that I'm sharing? Or do you see what I'm sharing? Okay, thank yes, you very yes. much. Thank you very much. Remember, yes, we continue yes. with this. Yesterday, we stopped right here, right? We stop right here, and we were also working on a different activity. We were answering some questions. We're going to continue with that activity later on. All right. Look, how to achieve how to achieve verb agreement with complex subjects. Okay, people, this is the grammar topic for today. Okay, or we're going to learn this grammar uh, topic today. Okay. Yes. Verb agreement with complex subjects, or basically subject verb agreements. Okay, first let's define what agreement is. Guys, can you mention or tell me what agreement is? What is agreement? Can you mention a synonym or something that you know or that you understand about agreement? Uh, accept. Accept. Okay, to accept. All right, accepting is a synonym. All right. Like uh, do a doing a contract, and you can sign. Okay, like doing a contract. She said you sign it. Okay, it means that both both parties or both people are in an agreement. Okay, so it means that the subject and the verb. They have to coincide, all right? They have to coincide. They have to be similar or equal. That's why it's called agreement. Agreement is also equal, okay? That both of you are in the same position. Now, <clears throat> we're going to see this and then we're gonna go to the presentation because I have more examples in the presentation. We're gonna read this, all of us. Look, subjects. Can you mention what a subject is, guys? Can you tell me what a subject is? Subject. Similar to person, teacher. Okay, no. it's similar. Exactly, okay. Thank you, thank you for that. And you are very, very, uh, how can I say, like, like, you are right, basically, because you said it's similar, similar to a person. It's not a person always. Okay, it can be an, an animal or a place or an object. Okay, so subject people can be singular and plural, all right? Can be singular and plural. 
look, subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity, I'm going to show you some of them later on, are called complex subjects. <clears throat> they take either a singular or a plural verb form, uh, depending on the number, singular or plural, of the quantifier, okay? Guys, what is the first? The first? The number one and the, and something, I don't know. Okay, it means, it means number one, okay? Or it means one, right? One. One, one. Yes. So look at this. The first of the decisions. The first of the decisions. Tell me, is that singular or plural? Plural. Plural, okay. Guys? Singular teacher. Singular, okay, okay. Plural, singular. <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Now, let's identify the verb. The verb is has. Well, actually, no, mm -hmm. not, quiet, mm -hmm. not quiet. The verb is made, right? The, the verb is made. This is the, 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 the auxiliaries, okay? But it also works with auxiliaries, okay? Right here. Yes. Okay. Has is not the verb, it's the auxiliary. Yes. Okay. Look, the first of the decisions, the first of the decisions, they are talking about decisions, but they are mentioning only one. Which decision? The first decision. Okay. So the subject is singular, it's not plural. Okay. Decisions is plural, yes, but the first is making all, all of it singular, okay? That's why we're using have and not, I mean, we're using has and not have, okay? Remember that the singular we use has, and in plurals we use have, okay? So the first of the decisions, okay? La primera, right? So singular, okay? Singular. Has been made me, has, be, has been made to go ahead with the plan. Okay, yes. Do you understand that part? Or are you getting the idea? Are you getting it? Yes. The, the chair. Yes. We have many, many decisions, probably, probably to take, or mm -hmm. to take many decisions, but mm -hmm. choice only one. Exactly. Of many, exactly. of many decisions. Mm -hmm. this, 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 this decision, only one, is for make uh, the better, better plan, I think. Yes, yes, you are right, you are right. Oh, okay, okay. It is, it is what I you said. It. I got it, thank you, teacher. Okay, look, look at this. I was telling you about this. Here, the first, first, refers to one, okay? one of the decisions and actually one of them is another expression okay oh it's down here look one of them okay so here the first refers to one of the decisions so the verb must be in the singular form not plural because we're talking about one and that is what we call verb subject verb agreement okay that's the subject verb agreement i cannot say have because my subject is singular, okay? So I have to like pay attention to what, uh, well, pay attention to the first letters or the first words, okay? Look at this one, letter B. One of the good things, guys, is this singular or plural? Plural. Singular. Singular. Singular, plural, okay. Singular okay. teacher. All right, all right. People, look at it. One of, that is one. I mean, these words, this, or these expressions of quantity, you can mention a plural thing there, 
but you are talking about something singular, all right? I mentioned good things, good things. I mentioned good things, but also I specify one, okay? One of the good things I like about working with you all is, okay? And not are, we don't use are because the subject here is singular, okay? One of the good things, only one, all right? Yes, if we changed it, if we changed it, it would be like this, to plural, right? Look, some of the good things, now it's different. Now it's different because some is plural, all right? Yes, algunas, right? Yes, that's why it is different, okay? We're gonna get to that part later. Okay, look, it says, it says here, let me read it again. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job right. Here, one is a single or various good, sorry, one is a single of various good things. So the verb must be singular, all right? Even though we mentioned a plural thing over there. Now, let's go to the other side over here. Look, this part is singular, this one is plural. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material. Look, that is the subject, okay? That one over there is the subject. But what you have to pay attention to is the first and the second word. The first one will tell you, okay, if it is singular or plural. Some, what is some in Spanish, people? Algunas. Okay, Algunas. And, look, and look, decisions. Some difficult decisions, plural, right? Plural. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are not is okay <clears throat> these things they have to agree all right look decisions are all right decisions are all right about excuse me about the cost and quality here some refers to more than one difficult decision plural look so the verb must, must be plural are in this case a majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Okay, look, plural, plural, right? A majority of product developers, Eso product es. developers, look. This one is plural. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind tests. Prefer with no S because a majority and then we have developers, which is plural, okay? Guys, do you understand this part? So, so. <laughs> so, so, it's, it's a difficult, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. For the ones that is possible, for the one for the ones that is possible to turn on the, their cameras, please do so. Uh, yes, right now in this moment, we have to do it. Okay. Yes. If it is not possible for you to do that, let me know in the chat, please. Okay. I would really appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. All right. Very good. Yes. Okay, so to understand this better, to understand this better, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the presentation because over there I have more examples and I have easier examples, okay? Because these ones are a little complicated to understand and over there we're gonna see them in a very easy way, all right? Yes. Let's do, let's do this, let's do this. <clears throat> okay. Look, 
We got the vocabulary here and we got the grammar time. The definition for uh, subject verb agreement is here. What is subject verb agreement? Look, let me read it to you guys. Look, it is when the subject and the verb form coincide grammatically, okay? Look, you cannot use a singular subject with a plural verb form, or you cannot use a plural subject with a singular verb form, okay? We're gonna see this later on. It is important that your subjects and verbs agree according to number. You are more likely to encounter problems deciding which form of a verb to use when the subject is modified by a quantifier, okay? And the quantifiers are here. People look, look at a list of quantifiers. The first of, many of, some of, none of, a great number of, a great deal of, every one of, a number of, an amount of, a bunch of, a lot of, each, neither, enough, all, no, both, or both of, any of, and a majority of. Do you have any questions about this ones over here? Uh, can you uh, can you do uh, examples? Yes, I have examples here. I have examples. My question is: Do you know the vocabulary? Do you understand the vocabulary? Yes. <clears throat> uh, what is Amount, amount of, amount of. Amount. Guys, what is amount? Amount. Amount of. Cantidad. Cantidad. Yes. Um, a, a, bush, bush of, bush of. a bunch of. A bunch of. Un puño de, un montón de. It's, it's like, it's like a lot of. Exactly, exactly, pretty much. I have a lot of things to do. I have a bunch of things to do. And the the, the last uh, majority majority of majority of la mayoría de un número de ah okay okay yes all right okay we got it we got it okay guys very good. Now we're going to continue and we're going to see some examples here, okay? To see how we use quantifiers, okay? Quantifiers are very, very important. And also they are a little confusing when it comes to the subject verb agreement, okay? Yes. All right. Why some give in parentheses of? Oh, because sometimes uh, of is not necessary. Okay, for example, some teachers are coming to El Salvador. Let's see, some teachers are coming to El Salvador or some of the teachers, okay, that works too. Some of the teachers are sick, for example, okay? Yes, it's optional. <clears throat> right, the same happens with, uh, which one is the other one? I can't remember. But look, I'm going to write an example down here. Look at this. Each of the students Okay, in the space, which which verb form, which verb form would you add in this? Each of the students finish or finishes? Is it plural or singular, people? Each of the students. Yes. 
Plural. Plural. Okay, so each of the students finish the test on time or each of the students finishes the test on time? What do you think? Finish. Finish? The first one finish. Okay, the first one finish. See, that's why I told you that the, the subject, well, with quantifiers, with quantifiers, we have a problem. Okay, we have a problem because it destroys the whole system. Okay, in this case, it's singular. <laughs> Sorry, it is singular. Yes. So it is not finished, it is finishes. Okay. Yes, because the quantifier is modifying everything, it is singular. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry, people. <laughs> but if you don't understand, I'm going to explain this one later on. Okay. Each of. Yes, or each, basically each. Let me continue. Look. Sure. Sure. Yes. Can can make a question? <clears throat> yes. Uh, this part is referred to um, a pair with the quantity uh, word. Exactly. Join, join for make a, a sentence. Exactly, exactly, yes. Mm, and uh, yeah. it's necessary to identify if it's plural, plural, plural mm -hmm. to, to make the verb. Sí, claro, hacer claro. El, el verbo en el tiempo adecuado. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes. That's exactly what we're doing, yes. Okay. Yes, the problem, I told you, the problem here is that the modifiers or the, the quantifiers are confusing the subject, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why we have the confusion with, with the quantifier, the subject, the number of the subject, and then the verb. But mm -hmm. let's take a look at some examples. Okay. Look, singular Thank subject you. agrees with singular verb, okay? In Spanish, it will be un uh, sujeto singular está de acuerdo con un verbo singular, all right? Yes. Let's identify the subject. The subject is information. Is information singular or plural? In this case, singular. Okay. Ah. Some information is singular. All right. It is not plural because we don't have S. We don't have informations. And actually, information is not correct. Okay. We cannot make this word plural. Okay. So look, some information about the project is important to continue with it, all right? Is and the verb. Are they in an agreement, people? Yes? Do they match? Yes. Yes, they match. Singular subject, singular verb, agreement, yes. All right, there's an agreement. Another one. Look. Teacher. Hi. Teacher, but why some uh -huh. in this case in singular? Oh, because of information. Information. Um, okay. Yes. Remember, remember that that some some we use it with singular and plural. Okay singular and plural, or with count nouns and non-count nouns. Some cell phones, some coffee, okay? Yes. Okay. Both are correct. Some coffee, algo de café, some books, algunos libros, all right? Yes. So be, in Spanish will be algo de información, okay? Yes. Acerca del proyecto es necesaria o importante para continuar con el mismo. Look, we continue with singular. Singular subject agrees with singular verb. The amount of money received last year was enough to cover all the projects we had pending. Look, the subject starts with the amount of money. Is money singular or plural? Singular. Okay, singular. Oh, 
amount, amount, we use it with count nouns. Okay. La palabra amount se usa solamente con nombres no contables o con cosas no contables. Okay. Yes. I cannot say the amount of books. No se puede decir the amount of books. Okay. That will be the number of books. Different. All right. So, guys, do we have an agreement here with the subject verb? Yes. Yes. Yes, right. Yes, we, we have the agreement over there. Another one, look. We continue with the same singular, all right? One of the most important factors. Look, we got factors. Factors down here. Okay. But we're talking about one. Okay. One of the most important factors of technology is not R. Okay. Remember, we're not talking about factor, we're talking about one, one factor, right? Only one, singular. So that's why we use is and not are, okay? Yes. It's very, very normal or very common to see are in this in these sentences, but it's not are, it's is because, because of this, one of, right? Another example can be, or is, a lot of pressure is required to finish some tasks sometimes, okay? A lot of pressure is required to finish some tasks sometimes. Guys, what is the subject? A lot of pressure, is it singular or plural? Plural, I think. Singular. Well, singular. Okay, it's singular. All right, yes. Remember, a lot is another quantifier that we can use with count nouns and non-count nouns. A lot of books, muchos libros, a lot of water, mucha agua. Here, a lot of pressure, mucha presión. All right, singular, yes. A lot of pressure is, okay, a lot of pressure is, we cannot use R here, okay? Because the subjects don't agree or don't match, okay? Yes. Guys, do you understand this part? Or do you have any questions? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, my Lord, sorry. <clears throat> All right, do you have any questions about this? No, we're good. For the moment, not sure. Okay, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. Plural subject agrees with plural verb. Okay, now we go to the plural form. Now look, look at the word some. Some areas. Now, is this singular or plural? Plural. Plural teacher. In this case, it's plural. Some areas in the company need, needs no, with, with S no, okay? With S no, because it's plural, all right? In that case, it's not necessary. Some areas in the company need repairing, okay? Some areas in the company need repairing. This one was simple. Look, people, look at this one. Both the super, uh, the boss and supervisor, both. People, is this singular or plural? Yeah. Plural. It's plural. We have two people. And also we have the word both. Both, two, okay? Both is two. Both the boss and the supervisor are out of town to reach agreements with potential companies, okay? Yes. So we have two people, people number, person number one, and person number two, okay? So we have an agreement. The agreement is good, okay? The agreement is good. Let's continue with another example here. Look, a bunch of files have been piled up on the secretary's desk. A bunch of files have been piled up on the secretary's desk. 
if you look at the word files, a bunch of, okay? Bunch, un puño, un poco, right? Yes. That's what it is. A bunch of files, un puño de archivos. Plural, right? Plural. So we need to use have. The verb is not have. The verb is piled up or piled in this case. But in this case is the, the, the auxiliary agreement. Okay, the auxiliary agreement. Another one, look, none of the investors, none of the investors, investors plural, all right? Ninguno, okay? None of the investors are available to meet today. We'd better call off today's meeting. Look at the example. None of the investors, plural, okay? N, R, it's okay. Investors are, all right? Yes. People, do you understand this? The subject verb agreement? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm going to show you some exceptions. Well, not, not exceptions. It's like two that are very confusing. Where can I do that though? Let me, let me see, let me see, hold on. Okay, no, let me go back. Okay, here, I have some space. The ones I want to mention are these ones. Each of or each, okay, each of or each. Neither or neither of, okay, what is neither? What is neither? Ninguno, teacher. Yes, and neither of? Ninguno de. Yes, okay. All right, all right. These ones are very confusing, okay? They are very confusing. Let me show you. Each of the doctors. In the office, let's say. Look at the example. Each of, sorry, my bad, my bad. Each of the doctors have tools in the office. Do you think that example is correct? No, teacher. Is no, singular right? teacher. Exactly. They, this one's each of and neither of, they look super plural, okay? They look, of, they look like, like uh, how can I say this? They look plural, but they are not plural, okay? They are not plural. Each of the doctors has, okay? Has. So in Spanish it would be, cada uno de los doctores tiene, right? Singular, all right? It's not plural, all right? The same happens here with each, each student, Okay, it's student needs, but this one is needs. It's, it's easy because it's, it's singular. Okay, but each of the students will be different. This one is okay. Now, neither of the no present present neither of the students. Okay, look at this example. Neither of the students is ready for the presentation. Neither of the students is, okay? And not are, okay? Not, it's not are because it's, this is singular. Neither of, ninguno, okay? De los estudiantes está listo, right? That, that will be in Spanish. If you put R over here, ninguno de los estudiantes están listos. No, right? No, right? Even in Spanish, it's incorrect. So in this case, it's is. All right? If you have questions, you can ask me later on after this. Look, guys, read it and give me your answer. Teacher, excuse me. Hi. Could you, could you go back in the presentation one step? 
by take a, a screenshot. Thank you. This one? Yes, I take it. You did it? Yes? Yes, I take it. it. Okay. Look, guys, look, look. Every employee space through many difficulties at the company. Every employee go or goes. What do you think? Mm, goes. Goes. People, go. the, answer, the answer is goes. Goes. All right. Every employee, singular, right? Singular. Every employee goes. The opposite or the plural will be all employees, right? That will be the plural. Right, all employees. Okay, yes. Let's continue with another one. Another one, look. People, read it and tell me. Guys, what do you think about this one? Many of the ideas was? generated during last meeting was considered as highly important. Yes. <laughs> Agree. Was considered. I, I, I think that is where, teacher. For me, it's where, teacher. In this one, you have to pay attention to many, many is plural, remember? Always, always yes. plural, always plural. Ideas plural, all right? So plural, many of the ideas generated during last meeting were considered as highly important, okay? Yes, because it's many of the ideas, many ideas, okay? Not one, if it said one of the ideas, if it said one of the ideas, okay, it will be was, but no, okay? It's plural, all right? Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, let's continue with the other one. Look at this one. This one is gonna be easy for you or easier for you. <clears throat> what do you think? Guys? Has, teacher. Yes, has. Okay. Has. Ha or has? <laughs> has. Has. Yes. Has teacher. We are failing. We're failing, people. We're failing. It's half. Look, none of the problems. Okay. None of the problems. Yes. It's sing it's, it's plural, okay? Singular will be one of the problems. Okay. Yes, people. One of the problems, okay? All right, ninguno de los problemas, okay? En la compañía han sido estudiados o, o investigados, yes. Another one, look, this one is going to be easy. This one is easy. Guys? Come. Come. Okay. E -A -A. Yes. Look, some participants. Some participants, plural. All of it is plural. Okay. Some participants in last, last week's seminar come to the company very often. Okay. Yes. Because it is plural. I think there's one more. I'm not really sure. I think there's one more. Okay, look. People? Oh, first is misspelled. In singular, teacher. The tiles. Sorry. Hey, the tiles. Okay. People? Singular or plural, or A or B? 
is Turo. Letter A. A. Okay, okay, yes, yes. It's plural, it's plural. We have first, okay, but we have pages, the first pages, all right? The first pages of the book, las primeras páginas del libro, right? Plural. Detail, okay? Not details, right? Because it's not one, it's, it's plural. Look, plural. All right? Yes. Guys, do you have any questions? Oh, no, another one. Sorry. <laughs> There's another one. Engineers misspelled again. Sorry. Double A, all right? Double E over here. Sorry. I was writing, typing fast. It's plural, letter A. Letter A, no. Okay. Is there anybody that has a different answer? Letter A. a. It's, it's singular to change. Okay. Or the neither, neither. Oh. Yes, remember, I told you at the beginning or uh, earlier, I told you that neither of that is singular. All right, it's singular. Neither of the engineers knows. Okay, yes, yes, people. So, yes, teacher. In Spanish, listen to this. Ninguno de los ingenieros saben. So people? Sabe. Yes? Does it sound correct in Spanish? No, teacher. Yes, it's, co it's correct in Spanish, but not in English. Okay? I told you, neither of, neither of and each of, sorry, and each of the, they go with plural things, but they are not plural, okay? They are singular, all right? So in this case, we need to use the verb knows, okay? Yes. All right. Let's continue here. Another example. Okay, look. Mm -hmm. People finish <clears throat> finishes or finish finish finishes finishes finish finishes okay finishes yes finishes it's letter A okay it looks it looks plural but it is not plural okay it looks it looks plural, but it is not plural, okay? Yes. What is finish in Spanish? Finish in Spanish. Terminar. Finalizar. Okay. Yes. How do you say she finishes? Ella termina. She finishes? Ella finaliza. Okay, there you go. Because it will be like the same thing here. Each of the auditors, okay, cada uno de ellos termina, right? Finishes. Like, if you compare it with she, él termina, ella termina. Ninguno termina, right? Singular, okay? Like I said, it looks plural, but it's not plural. The same with neither of the, it looks plural, but it's not plural, it's singular. <laughs> Yes, grammar people. <laughs> All right, let's continue here. And now you're going to give me examples. You, it's your turn to give me examples. Look, you can use whatever, whatever uh, quantifier you want. Look at the question. What can you say about your company? What can you say about your company using the words down here? All right, all of this. For example, in my case, or in my opinion, in my company, most classrooms in my workplace 
need to be changed, okay? Another one, a number of proposals were sent to the CEO three days ago. And one more, a lot of books are stored inadequately. Okay, those are my examples. Okay, guys, can you give me examples or try to give me examples? Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to try to check. Okay. Uh, each of the employees is coming late. Is coming late. Okay, it's coming late. All right. Mm -hmm. Each of the employees is coming late. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Anybody else? People, hello, it's time to practice. Uh, okay, I have, I had a lot of work yesterday. No, it, it, the, your example is correct, but I need, I need you to use this at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, a lot of work had, had yesterday. No? No, no. Also, also. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. It's okay, it's okay. At the beginning of the sentences, I use the, the, the phrase a lot of. Uh -huh. The beginning always. At the no. beginning, yes, yes. That's the, 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 the activity for today. We use these words, these words at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Yeah, excuse me, I come late to the class. <laughs> that's that's okay, that's okay. People try. So tired. <laughs> Teacher, if I say if I say um, um most most people in my church come just on holidays, for example. Yeah. Yes. Is correct? Yes, it's correct. Yes, most people come. Okay, yeah, okay. Come. plural, come, plural. We're good, we're good, yes. Okay. Teacher can say, when are we in the office? The first of make a copy. Or no, no. Your, your example is correct, but that's not what we are uh, requiring in this moment. We, we, we need you to give me a sentence or to give a sentence using this at the beginning at the beginning mm -hmm. of the sentence, okay? Okay, I have another example. Okay, Every ahead. morning, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. Repeat, please. Every morning, I wake up. No, I, no, no again. <laughs> no, because you're saying every morning. In that case, every morning, comma, I wake up, so. Wake up, uh huh. Like it's different in that case. Uh -huh. You have to mention a sentence, a, a sentence with with uh with every as the subject. Okay, every is going uh -huh. to be the subject. Like uh, every morning, my song. Oh, the same, the same. same thing. You're changing it because you say every morning, and then my song. My song is a subject, so we change it. Uh -huh. So be okay. every morning. Look at this. Listen, listen. Every morning is beautiful. That's it. Ah, okay. Every Same. morning is okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, Pamela, and then and then you hold on. Um, for example, it can be all the all the employees have to be in the meeting at a. 8 a.m. Yes, all the employees have. Yes, all the employees have. Yes, we got it. Yes. Okay, okay. Very good. Holman? Uh, for example, uh, uh, every 
Every people person? wanna. Every get, person. Every is like a uh, single. Every person. Uh, no, but every is for for a a, a single. Yes, for one, for only one. Ah, oh, well, so every person, no, but I, I, I wanna, uh, in, in plural, I can use all, all people. Exactly, all, mm -hmm. yes. All people, all people wanna listen rock music. Okay, there you go. Okay. okay. All people want to listen to rock music. All people, plural, want plural. Okay. Very good. Very good. Antonio, yes. Okay, teacher. I can say a majority of students are in the class. Yes. Yes. Exactly. A majority of students are in the class. Perfect. 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 Yes. All right, guys. Practice, practice. Teacher. Yes. A number of persons selected were the best choice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, people, and then we got persons. You said persons, and then we have a uh, word, okay? Persons and word, yes, they match. Guys, hello. More examples? Teacher, can I say another one? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, of course. All, all of my teammates are good workers. Okay, all of my teammates are good workers. Okay, yes, yes. All of my teammates, plural, are plural. Okay. Guys, continue. I'm listening. Teacher, another example can be um, one of the students is sick. Yes, one of the students is sick. Yes, okay. Yes, perfect subject for agreement. Fatima, yes. Can be a great number of employees leave the office at 4 p.m. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Perfect. 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 Number of uh, employees, you said, right? Employees. Employees. Employees, and then leave. Yes. They match. Very good. Very good. Hello. Um, a lot of children. Uh, are playing soccer. Okay. A lot of children are playing soccer. Yes. A lot of children, plural, are playing soccer. Also plural. All right, guys, more examples. No, we're good. Nobody. Okay. Uh, I, I have a plug on a class at teacher. Sorry. I have an example of the class. I am in singular and plural. With you? With all, all students. For example, in plural, in singular, for practice. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, can, uh, can, can you, can you, can you do uh, examples? With uh, the class, with the class, yes, singular and plural for practice. You okay? Okay. You want me to give you examples? All right, all right. A lot of coffee. A lot of coffee is collected in Usulutang. A lot of coffee, singular, is singular, collected in Usulutang. Yes. Another one, let me see. <clears throat> a lot of people try, see? a lot of people, plural, try to practice or to learn English. 
a lot of people try to learn English. A lot of people is the, the subject plural, try is the verb in the plural form. Uh, let me see, each of the nurses, listen to this, each of the nurses, singular, all right, not plural, each of the nurses is having breakfast. Each of the nurses is having breakfast, okay? To be like, cada una de las enfermeras está, okay? Si ponemos a, sería están, no, it's not, that's not correct, okay? Cada una están, no, right? No agreement, yes. So each of the nurses is having lunch. Or you can say, you can say in this case, each of the students is paying attention. Wow, fantastic. Uh, yes, Kristen? Teacher, can you give an example with a no? A no. Enough. Enough. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, yes. Enough people died during the COVID season. Bad example, but I mean, okay, enough people died in the COVID season, okay? Yes, it's a bad example. <laughs> Very dark, dark, okay? Or you can say, enough money, enough money is received in my house. Enough money is received in my house. Enough money, singular, all right? Teacher. Hi. Uh, with great deal of. A great deal of is the same as the great amount of. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. Here, they are the same. A great deal of and a great number of, no difference. Okay? Yes, you can say a great deal of people or a great number of people. Okay? But the example will be a great number of people come to El Salvador every year. Or you can say a great deal of people come to El Salvador every year. No difference. Plural, plural, okay. Or plural uh, is like a quantity. Oh. Sorry? Dial is like a quantity, a number. In this case, it's a quantity number. But deal has many, many functions, yes. It has a many great functions. number of is like a un, un gran numero. Or yes. Un numero. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Guys, okay. let me show you, let me show you the ones that are singular. Singular every. One of, singular. Amount of, singular. Each, singular. Neither, singular. All right? A lot of, uh, okay, singular and plural, all right? Yes, singular and plural. And uh, singular and plural, singular and plural, all right? Oh, singular. All right, that's how they go, yes. Oh, and enough can be singular and plural. Yes. That's why it, it is difficult to, to have a, a clear answer about this, yes. Let me stop here. Okay. And we're gonna go to the book, go to page number, well, the same page, number 18. <clears throat> On page number 18, you can go down to part number five. You can go down to part number five. Let me show it to you here. Look, read the statements below. Choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. Compare your answers with a partner. We got six examples here, people. You are going to choose the verb, okay? You are going to choose the verb, singular or plural. Just read the sentence carefully. Excuse me. 
here. <clears throat> Let me know when you're done. Guys, let me know, okay? Let me know. Uh, let me see. Christian finished. He just told me that he finished.
Guys, are you done? I'm waiting, okay? Yeah, teacher. I finish. Okay, okay. We're gonna read soon, soon. Okay. <clears throat> Let me share the book with you again. And let's take a look at the first one. Is there a volunteer? Go ahead. Thank you. Anybody? Go. As maybe. As. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I no. take the, the second one. Okay. Fatima, read the first one. Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Okay, have not arrived yet. Okay, people, do you agree with Fatima? I agree, teacher. Okay, yes. I agree, Some teacher. Of the participants, all right? Yes. Some of the participants, plural, all right? Have have not, in this case, have not arrived yet. Thank you very much, Fatima, for reading. Elivaldo, read number two, please. Thank you. One on the factor to the city on Sign. the best type, to the size on the best type of the test is, is the characteristics of the product is? Itself itself okay yes one of the factors to decide on the best type of test is right We're talking about one singular is the characteristics of the product itself Holman guess number three uh, a number of customers is satisfied with the performance of the new mob of the new map, satisfied. Satisfied. Yes. Guys, do you agree with Holman? Yes. No. R? R. I think similar to Fatima. Yes, R. It, is, it is R. Okay, it is R. A number, a number of is always plural. Okay, yes. A number of is always plural, yes. It will be a number of customers are satisfied with the performance of the new mop. What is a mop? El mop. Tapiador? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Rosalina. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, people, mop, trapeador, right? Or Real Madrid church. Okay. No difference. <laughs> no, no, okay. Relax, people. It's a joke. Number four, number four. Uh, Lucy, are you there? Help us, Lucy, with number four. She must be busy. Okay, that's okay. Antonio, help us, Antonio. The fears of the suggestion I want to implement is the design of the label. Yes. The first of the suggestions I want to implement is the design of the label. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Suggestions is plural, cool, but we're talking about one. Okay. One suggestion. So it's, it's singular, right? Number four, Oscar. Are you there, Oscar? Read number five. Oscar, hello. <clears throat> Oscar is not, it's not. Probably his microphone is not really working. Okay, don't worry, Oscar. Don't worry, don't worry. Me, teacher. Thank you, thank you, Lucy. 
the first of the suggestion sorry, I want. Number five, number five. Yes, sorry. A, a, a majority of testers has pointed out the need to make our product lighter. Okay, okay. You say have, right? Have, okay. That's what you said, right? No? It's it's have, all right? A have. majority a majority of testers have. A majority of is similar or the same as the number of. They are always plural, okay? A majority of testers have pointed out the need to make our product lighter, okay? And the last one, Mr. Hernandez, can you help us? Isabel Hernandez? Six, number six. No. Hello? Okay. Okay, Hector, help us, please. Thank you, Hector. A number of comments to hit with S <laughs> that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Characteristic. Okay. Characteristic. Look, another example with a number of. A number of comments suggest or suggests that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Suggest or suggests people. Singular. Suggest. Singular. Suggest. So yes. remember, 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 and even the book, the book mentions that, even the book mentions that, look, hi, hi, a majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun, All right? Suggest. So it will be suggest, look, a majority of products developers prefer, not prefers, you see this, in this case is plural, right? So a number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candle is the best is the best characteristic. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let me stop sharing. Yeah. Yes. Is, is the number six is suggest or suggests? Suggest with, with no S. No S. Ah, no S. Okay. Yes, because it's plural. It's plural in that case. Okay. It's plural. Okay. Yes, no problem. Guys, do you have any questions? I have a question. Yes, ask me. It's a vocabulary question. Mm -hmm. For point it, point it up, what means in Spanish? It's a phrasal verb, right? It's a phrasal verb, yes, phrasal, phrasal verb. Phrasal. I didn't see that one. What means that in, in Spanish? Pretty much point, the same thing. Point it out, point, what's point? The same. Mm -hmm. My point. But in this case, it's like, okay. like, like, how can I tell you this without speaking Spanish? Uh, it's pretty much found, pointed out, found, like, apuntado, encontrado. Yes. That's what it is. And it, it says there, a majority of testers have pointed out, okay? Yes. Señalado, pretty much. La necesidad de hacer. Pretty much the same. Point out. Okay. More questions, people? We're going to continue with the practice. With the practice, okay? The same practice. But this time is going to be a little different. And let me show it to you here. All right, look at it. Now it's a written practice. You have to write examples with this. Look, activity. Use the following quantifiers to make sentences. Focus on the subject verb agreement. I have lots of, most of, neither, each of, some, and none of the. Okay? Yes. So, guys, let's get to work. If you have questions, I'm here. Okay? Let's practice. When we finish, we're going to share.
Remember, if you have any questions, ask me, I'm here. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. At the end, at the end of the class, uh, I have troubles with two statements in my homework. I can't uh, resolve that. Okay. Really, I can. I need your your help. Yeah, we can do that later on. Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Guys, did you finish? No, nope. okay. With my towel, with my towel, with my towel. Richard, I have a question. Yes, I have the answer. <laughs> In, lots of are is similar to many. A lot of, a lot of lots of, no difference. Ah, okay. Yes, thank you. Let me stop sharing. I'm gonna share with you the, 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 the words through the chats. Okay, it is there. Lots of, most of, neither, each of. Guys, are you almost done? Each of uh, teacher each each of the significa in, in Spanish cada uno de yes. Thank you. Or you can simply say each. You can simply say each. Okay. You can say each or each of the. Yes. Same or both. Same, uh huh? Yes. Both of and both. It's the same as neither. Neither of the or neither. Okay.
I said you finish. I finish. Teacher, I think I finish. Yes. Okay. 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 That's that's fine. Uh, I will give you two two more minutes. Okay. A quarter to to ten we start. At a quarter to ten we start. One more minute and then we start. <clears throat> okay. We are we are ready. The first the first example, we're gonna start with lots of. Okay, lots of. We're going to you are going to mention your examples with lots of, only with lots of, okay? Yes. Let's start. Let me see. Pamela, yes. Lots of your example with lots of. Uh, I have to share. Not necessarily, you can just mention. mention okay. Or read it. Okay. My, my example is lots of apples are rotten. Okay. Lots of apples are rotten. Yes. Lots of apples, plural, are plural. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. People, uh, let me see. Christopher. Your example with lots of. Our students wear their uniforms every day. Repeat, please. A lot of students wear of wearing their uniforms every day. All right, all right. A lot of, uh, lots of people, okay, very good. We got the, the subject, plural, and the verb agreement, plural, excellent. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, let me see, Antonio. The same example, lots of. Lot of people lots are living. Of. Lots of, lots of. Lots of people are living hard situation in Turkey. In Turkey, Turkey. Turkey. Yes, it is true. Lots of people are living a difficult situation in Turkey. Yes, it is true. All right. Uh, let me continue. One more, one more. All right. Uh, Hector, yes. With lots of. Lot of. Okay. Lot of the bears are marked. Lots of. Lots. Lots. Lot of the bears are marked. You said beer. Bears. Uh, like a, like a, I don't know, roster? <laughs> no, roster, not a beer. Ooh, that one. <laughs> People, let me ask you a question. Can you make beer plural? Oh. Yes. I have a plural. But with beer, cerveza, plural? No, 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 no beer. Beer. No, it's what is the question? Pájaros. I don't understand. I said birds. If you check it's a cerveza, the other cerveza. <laughs> no, not beer. Ah, no, okay. Not it's, it's not beer, it's bird. Bird. Be birds. Ave. Like a bird man. Yes, bird. Beer boy. <laughs> I heard I, I really I, I I heard beer. Oh my. Oh my goodness. No, not month, no, no, it's very day. 
<laughs> it's not Friday today. I'm sorry. I got confused. No problem. But I like it. <laughs> can, you <Yeah>. repeat? <laughs> can you repeat your example, please? Okay. A lot of the birds, birds are marked. 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 Marcadas. Marked. 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 Uh huh. Okay, marked. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let's continue with the other one. Most of. Most of. Fatima, can you give us an example with most of? Most of the cats are grumpy. Okay, most of the cats are grumpy. Yes. Thank you for the example. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good, very good. Isabel, can you give us your example with most of? Hello? Okay, apparently he, he's not there. All right, Lucy, are you there? Yes. Okay. Could you share your, your example with most of? <clears throat> Lucy, hello. We don't know what happened. Sorry, sorry, I was in mute. <laughs> ah, okay. I, was, I was reading along. Uh, they sold most of their apartments quite quickly. Come again, please. Um, they sold most of their apartments quite quickly. Okay. Yeah, the sentence is correct, but it's not what, what we are practicing. Okay. Okay. But, but that's okay because you used you used the, like the plural form. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you, Lucy, for that. Let's continue with the other one. And the other one is neither. Neither. All right. Neither. Let's see. Uh, Christopher, can you give us your example with neither? Neither is. Students came early to the class today. Repeat. Neither students came early to the class today. Okay, neither students came early to class today. Yes, yes, in the example. Even though came is in the past form, but it's okay. It's okay. All right. Magdalena, can you give us your example with neither? He's, he's, he's talking to somebody. <laughs> All right. Okay, there he is. Hi, Magdalena, are you back? We need you. What's your okay. example? Yes, I'm here. I'm here again. Yes, oh, sorry. Example with neither, please. Neither. Yes. Okay. I don't know if if that is correct, but please correct me. Neither my friends study a career. Mm, will be neither of neither of my friends. I'm neither of. Okay. Uh -huh. Neither of my friends study a career. Studies. It's invented. Studies. Hmm? It's third person singular. Yes. Okay. Singular. Remember, I told you neither and each are singular. Okay. They look okay. plural, but they are not plural. All right. Excellent. Holman, can you give us your example with neither? Uh neither 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 dog uh eat eat vegetables neither dogs neither dog okay dogs eat plural neither dogs no singular dog it, it has to go dog has to be plural yes with neither yes Neither dogs. Mm -hmm. And then the verb is singular. Yes. The same verb. You say eat, but with S. Hello? Neither dog. 
I am confused with neither. It's singular. Okay, listen to this. Neither is singular with the verb. The verb is singular, okay? The word next to neither is plural, all right? Let me give you an example here in the chat. Look, neither students is happy. That's how it is, okay? Neither students is happy or neither of the students is happy. Yes, in Spanish is ninguno de los alumnos está, está feliz, yes. And your example will be neither dogs is is what sorry? Oh, we say eat right eat. Eat vegetables. To the chat. There you go. Neither dogs eats vegetables or neither of the dog eats vegetables. Yes. That's how it is. All right. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, time is, uh, Antonio. Okay, teacher. I have a dog. Yes. Uh, to say, to say, neither of the co-workers has finishes yet. This is finish or finishes? Finished. Finished. As participle. You said has before. Has is okay. Okay. Has is okay. Yes. And after finished. Uh -huh. Finished. Finished. Present perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, let's continue with the other one. The other one is some. No, no. Each of. Each of, that's the other one. Uh, Isabel, do you have an example with each of? Isabel, hello? Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You need beer. All <laughs> right. That's okay, that's okay. Elivaldo, yes. Hello. Hello, Dutch. Okay. Hey, how the employees have to follow 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 the development of the company? Okay. Each of the employees have. You said have or have. has? Have. People have. remember each is singular. I mean so the, the the verb is singular, okay? Each of the employees okay. has. Has to follow in the Each development of, has. of the company. Okay. okay. Cada empleado tiene, okay? Sí, singular. Yes, that's how it goes. All right, let me see another one with, with uh, each of the, Pamela. What is your example with each of? With each of? I have each of the students is in class right now. Okay, each of the students is in class right now. Yes. Okay, each of the students is in class right now. Okay, cada alumno está, right? Está. No están, right? Está. Right? Very good, very good. Uh, Lucy, do you have your example with each of? Yes. Um, I I don't know if it's right. I gave each of the plants some water. Yeah, the sample is correct, but it's not what we're practicing. Remember, you have to use you have to use each of at the beginning. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, it's okay. It's okay. The example was was good, but not it's not the the, the topic. That's okay. Uh, let me see, Fatima. You, with each of the, hello. 
don't have with each. You don't have an example with each? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Christian, do you have an example? Uh, okay, Holman. Yes. Uh, each, each of the students has uh, no one's sleep. <laughs> okay. Each of the students wants to sleep. To sleep, okay? Wants to sleep. Yes. To sleep. Uh, wants, wants, wants to sleep. Uh, yes. Okay, yes. Wants, perfect. Yes, each of the students wants. Very good. All right. Uh, guys, do you have any questions? It's very confused, teacher. It's, it's very confusing, yes. Especially and neither. Okay, each and neither are confusing, yes. Yes. I'm good, teacher. I'm fine. Huh? Right now. No, no question for me. Oh, okay, okay, very good, very good. All right. Okay, then uh, it's almost time. We just have one minute. In that minute, I'm, I'm going to take attendance. Okay, let me just update this. Uh, Adriana Maria Turcios, she was trying to, to join the class, but apparently her connection was not really good. So she couldn't. Carlos Elivaldo, Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Pre present teacher. Christopher Chipawa. Present. Fatima Aguilar. Present teacher. Javier Beltran is here, but uh, he's, he's working. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Yes. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Uh, you are there, but you are sick. Okay, and I get it. Iwan wasn't here. We don't know why. Holman Saul Giron. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo. She wasn't here either. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Hi. Magdalena Escalante Morantes. Uh, I'm here. Present. You stay Escalante Morantes. Yes. What did I say? <laughs> I don't know. Escalante Morantes. Yes. I said that. Thank you. I'm here. <laughs> okay. You have to stay after class, okay? Yes. Uh, let me see. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Oscar was here, but her connect I mean, his connection was not really good or his microphone is not working because we, we cannot hear him. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Yes. Roberto Carlos Hernandez was not here. Rosa Lina Alvarado. She was, but for a couple of minutes, and then she left. Okay, people, thank you for being here today. I know the topic is difficult to understand, all right? I'm going to send you some information through WhatsApp to reinforce the topic, okay? Yes, especially each of and neither of or neither or each, okay? Yes. Guys, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Except Matalena, he stays. See you tomorrow, and take care and sleep, people. Right. Yes. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a good Thank night. You. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, we are here. It's just you and I right now. There are two more people. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. A moment. Okay, let's see. I cannot hear you if you're speaking <laughs> because your microphone is off. Sorry, I was speaking. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, is the homework number one dot five? Okay, let me see if I can find that one. What is it? What is the mistake? Section number one, right? Or number two? Number one. Activity is number five. number three and number five. Activity number three and number five. Yep. Okay. I think in number three there's there's a mistake in number three. But let me let me uh show you that one. It is here. Look. Do you see it? I'm sure it needs to be. This one? Number one, one dot five. Now exercise number three. Yes. Yeah, one dot five, number three. Oh, look, that's how it goes. Okay, number three is while away yeah. in college. Okay, while away in college. Oh, why are we in college? It is not correct, okay, but it is correct. But uh, it should be while being, right? While while being. But the platform is not accepting that answer. So it's while I'm in college, I stay with my roommate's family during one spring break. Did you get that one? Did you get it? I'm trying. I'm trying. Yes. Okay. I'm trying. Where is that? Roommate. I'm away. During. Spring. Break. Point. Okay, I'm checking out. No, incorrect. Ah, why? Capital letter. Okay, right. All correct. Uh, while away. College. I may be. I. I stay with my roommates uh, space. Roommates family. Spring break. That is the first one. It's correct. It's correct. Yes. Number five is now. Number five will be although hurt. Although, Although hurt. Hurt. Although hurt. without was and without drone. Okay, that is correct. I thank you, teacher, for your time. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Um correct. Okay, for right now, we have to be we have to be in number. Excellent and uh, homework number two dot eight is right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, I'm finished that. Hey, thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you for right. your time. Yes, it's not a problem. Okay, it's a pleasure. Yes. Okay. Good night. Yes. Good night. I'm going to reinforce each of and neither of, neither of, all right. These two quantifiers, they go with plural objects or plural nouns. 
I mean, plural animals, plural people, plural places, etc. Okay, look, neither of the restaurants. Okay. Okay, look, neither of the restaurants or each of the restaurants. Each of the restaurants, neither of the restaurants. Restaurants, plural, yes. But the words, each of and neither of, or the quantifiers, each of and neither of, they require a singular verb, okay? So the subject in this case is not plural. The subject is each, each is one, neither one, all right? Singular. That's why the verb has to go in the singular form. Each of the restaurants has a great service, okay? Each of the restaurants has a good service, okay? Look, neither of the restaurants passes the Okay, look, neither of the restaurants passes the sanity test. Okay, why passes? Passes is singular, right? It's a singular verb, the same with has. They are singular because the subject is singular. I told you, the subject may seem, seem, may seem plural or may look plural, but it's not plural, okay? The subject is singular because each of and neither of are plural, yes? What you have to do is continue practicing, continue practicing each of, each of, each of with the singular verb, okay? Another example to make this clear is this one. Look, each of the leaders is tired. Each of the leaders is tired, okay? Yes, each of the leaders is tired. Cada uno, right? Like singular, right? Yes, it's not plural, all right? Each of the leaders is tired and not are tired. We cannot say that, is tired, okay? That's how it goes. And another example here, neither of the children Okay, look, neither of the children is ready for kindergarten. Neither of the children is ready for kindergarten. We're using is because is is a singular verb and neither is a singular quantifier, all right? Guys, just continue practicing. Remember that practice makes perfection, okay? Yes, uh, it has been a pleasure. I will see you some other day. Take care and peace.